In 2001, the U.S. government had invaded Afghanistan, fast forward to 2021 U.S. is withdrawing. The Afghan government has fallen. And Afghanistan's President Ashraf Ghani has fled the country. The capital city and presidential palace have been captured. Today Taliban appears to be stronger than ever, with more than 85,000 soldiers and capturing every part of the country except Panjshir. Panjshir province is the only province that has stood strong against the Taliban despite the fall of Kabul. The Panjshir Valley is considered one of Afghanistan's safest and smallest regions. This province was never captured by the Taliban in the 1990s, nor by the Soviets a decade before that. The name Panjshir stands for the home of five lions, as the name of this valley is home for the Northern Alliance dominated by ethnic Tajiks, Panjshir Valley is the traditional bastion of anti-Taliban forces, who populate the valley are famous for being tenacious underdogs. Panjshir is the birthplace of Ahmad Shah Massad, who is regarded as the greatest leader and fighter of the 20th century. Panjshir Valley is located into Hindu Kush Mountain, its big rocky mountains, and narrow passage created by Panjshir River is the only access point to Panjshir Valley. Which makes Panjshir Valley geographically defended. As Colonel Ronnie Rajkumar, in the Financial Express described, Panjshir Province is a defender's dream and an attacker's nightmare. After the assassination of Ahmad Shah Massad by Al-Qaeda. His son Ahmad Massad has been following his dad's footsteps. As of now, Resistance 2.0, the rebel fighter Ahmad Massad. Caretaker President, Amarullah Saleh, and ex-defense minister Bismillah Mohammadi are leading the Northern Alliance and have called followers to come to the valley to fight the Taliban. Taliban has sent hundreds of its fighters to the region. According to the reporters, resistance fighters have recaptured three districts from the Taliban, and during their clash 40 Taliban were killed. Resistance force has begun a counter-offensive. But this time Panjshir resistance is outnumbered as well as outgunned with the Taliban now in possession of vast quantities of Western weaponry, including artillery and aircraft either captured from government forces or handed over to them. Many security experts and researchers have said that the Taliban has surrounded Panjshir from all sides and I don't think Massad's son can resist much more than a couple of months. While many Afghan commandos have publicly announced their support for the resistance 2.0, while many Afghan soldiers have fled to Panjshir, bringing hundreds of fighters, armed cars, and five helicopters. Ahmad Massad has also asked for help from the United States government to supply arms and ammunition to his militia. However, it is still not clear how strong this resistance group is. Ahmad Massad has publicly stated that they are looking for peace, inclusively in tolerance and acceptance and moderation, and rights of the citizens and country, and will not bow to the Taliban in any circumstances. Caretaker President Amirullah Saleh recently tweeted, Talibs aren't allowing food and fuel to get into Andarab Valley. The humanitarian situation is dire. Thousands of women and children have fled to the mountains. For the last two days Talibs abduct children and the elderly and use them as shields to move around or do house searches.